I'm going to create an account and sign up for Sage Math Cloud. The first screen that I see asks me to create a new project. I've created two projects and I'm going to click on the link for my testing project and to start with there are no files. I can click on new and see quite a selection. I'm interested in the Jupyter Notebooks so I will select a new Jupyter Notebook and I will give it a name first. So again I will just call this one testing and Jupyter Notebook it's now created the notebook with the name testing and it's loading this and this is my first Jupyter notebook I can click inside the box here and I can type some Python code So I've created a text variable and I've created a numeric variable. If I run these cells you're not going to see anything because we're not asking it to do anything with these variables and I see that I've mistyped that, it was meant to be an M minum. If I now simply type the variable and run the cell I get the out box giving me that value which is 4. I can edit this Let's put what happens if we join them together with a plus. We get an error because we've got a string testing and an integer for number. But what I can do is convert a number to a string. So now I should be joining two strings together and run and you see they're now joined together. It's given me another cell. Let's do a sum my num equals my num plus four. Now if I just run this cell I'm getting a value of 8. What if I run this one again? It's adding 4 to the number that it's already calculated. But if you run all the cells, it'll start with these values at the top. Run all and it now gives us 8. So it's starting with the value here of 4, adding 4 and creating 8. So you can see there's a difference between running a single cell and running all the cells in the sequence to reinitialize the values in each cell.
The time travel option is very useful if you want to step back through the changes that you have run. So if I step back and I've got a slider 12, 8, go back a bit further, that cell disappears, my typing disappears, going back to the area that I got, so by moving the slider I can go back to an earlier step or I can go through my changes again and see the output of each stage. Now that I've got my Jupyter Notebook running on Sage Math Cloud, I'm going back to the Open Learn page and I'm going to follow the instructions here to download and test the installation. I'm going to right click on this link and save the link as and I've saved that to a folder I prepared earlier. I'm now going to Sage Math Cloud again. Going back to my testing project. Go to new and I'm going to drop in the file from my computer. There's my notebook. I'm going to drop it and it's a small file so it's uploaded quite quickly. Um, going back to my files in my and run the test notebook. So there's some instructions and some code to be run. All I need to do with this is to, uh, I can either use run cell or I can use this option to run. I'm going to run all and there's the response. So the response is your pandas version is 0 0.15.0 and I've got this plot so that I can see that uh, everything is working.